My name is Patrick Dean, and I'm the brother of the groom, and I had no idea my brother would sing. <laughs> Hello, my name is Chris Kern. I'm the uh, sister of the bride, and we are honored to be co officiants of today's ceremony. So let's get down to business. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to witness the vows that will unite Karen, Dolores, Malika, and Thomas Mark Fian in marriage. Thank you all for being here to enjoy this joyous day with them. Each and every one of you has been an important part of their lives and has played a role in creating the strong, fun, and considerate people that they have become. We are honored that you have joined us. For those of you who don't know Tom, let me tell you three things about him. Uh, Tom was born on September 24th, 1957 at the Northwestern Hospital for Women and Children, now Abbott Northwestern. What sign of the zodiac does that make him? Libra. 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 Very good. What traits would we expect of a person born that way? Do I have any traits anyone would throw out? Love. 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 Clarity. Balance. Those are all good. <laughs> but the correct answers are initiative, potential, and singularity. Uh, Tom graduated from Glencoe High School in 1975. Uh, what was Tom's self-declared best song as he graduated? Well, you would think KC and the Sunshine Band was very prominent when Tom graduated, but it was not Get Down Tonight or That's the Way I Like It, or Sound Your Funky Horn. Uh, it was instead Some Kind of Wonderful by Grand Funk Railroad. Oh. I just threw that out. Uh, Tom went to college. Uh, where did he go to college? St. John's. Yes. What was his major there? Uh, I hear it on your lips, bakery science, but no, it was not bakery science. It was psychology and government. And what kind of student was young Tommy Fia? Awesome. Be fun. Fine. Some might say excellent. Some might say scholarly. Some might say serious. The correct answer is pretty darn okay. <laughs> For those of you who don't know Karen, let me tell you three, three things about her. There are five of us sisters, and my sister would say she's the youngest, she's the smartest, and the prettiest. That's right. My sister has a wicked wit. Her humor is very dry. She will make these wry observations about the world around her that I appreciate. My sister does not like to stay in her house. She runs, she walks, she bikes, she hikes, she kayaks, she gardens, and if you find her in the house at all, she'd probably be reading good fiction. I want to tell you about my sister's strength, and I'm not talking about her black belt in Taekwondo. <laughs> My sister has been single a long time, and she has raised her boys, who she loves fiercely, built her career, bought a house, bought a car, maintained everything, kept everything moving forward, and she's had to have a, a tight grip on things to keep it all together. This is why I was so surprised and delighted when she let loose with Tom and his family on Christmas Eve. <laughs> she was with someone who she knows has her back. Yes. She has a friend and a partner she can count on, and this is a beautiful thing. It's a wonderful thing to have a relationship. It's a gift from God. And for those of you who don't know Karen and Tom well, everybody can see how happy they are today. And I want to express that I'm so sorry I missed Christmas Eve. <laughs> there are, of course, loved ones who are unable to be here today. Karen and Tom, you know all those who love you and have ever loved you 
are here in spirit. Let's take a moment to remember the special loved ones whose presence is missed today, especially our recently departed mother Marjorie Fian and our uncle John Fian, and also our dad, Jim Fian. And we'd also like to remember our dad, Jerry Malika, and Katie's lifelong friend, Donna Murray, Donna May Baracic Caterlick. Um, now we'll have a reading by Tom's nephew, Dan Fian. Hi. Uh, as you may or may not know, my Uncle Tom is a big, big fan of the clairvoyant Edgar Casey, And uh, Edgar Casey is most known for 17,000 plus writings on healing. Uh, but every so often he was asked a question outside of that realm. And in one case, uh, he was asked in 1935, uh, for some wedding advice, and uh, the question specifically, do we genuinely love each other? Here's his response. Remember each, love is giving. It is a growth that may be cultivated or it may be seared. That of selflessness on the part of each is necessary. Remember the union of body, mind, and spirit in such as marriage should ever be is not for the desire of self, but is one. Love grows. Love endures, love forgiveth, love understands. Love keeps those things as opportunities that to others would become hardships. Then do not sit still and expect the other to do all the giving, nor all the forgiving, but make it rather as the unison and the purpose of each to be that which is a complement, one to the other, forever. Congratulations. You, the family and friends of Karen and Tom, this is a special day in your lives as well as theirs. In addition to the union of their hearts, this ceremony marks the joinings of families and friends, the merging of the Malika, Jandro, Fian, and Sullivan heritages into a common and shared future. Your relationships with them and each other have shaped the people they have become and will continue to shape the couple. They will grow to be. In a symbol of the families coming together here today, let's all join hands and share the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, now and forever. Amen. Will you, the family and friends of Karen and Tom, pledge to give them your continuing support, your love, and your understanding as they work to build a happy and enduring marriage? If so, please say, Amen. Amen. I think they could do better. <laughs> <laughs> Would you help them? <laughs> Let's clap along. always be able to talk things over, 
to confide in each other, to laugh with and at each other, <laughs> to enjoy life together, and to share moments of quiet and peace when the day is done. May your marriage be a place in which you share your joys so they may be multiplied and minimize your pain so that it may be divided. May you be blessed with a lifetime of happiness and a home of warmth and understanding. Treat yourselves and each other with respect and remind yourselves often of what brought you together. If each of you takes responsibility for the quality of your life together, it will be marked by abundance and delight. I would now like to invite Liz Ryer to deliver a reading. greatest gift? Could it be the world itself? The oceans, the meadowlark, the patience of the trees and the wind? Could it be love with its sweet clamor of passion? Something else, something else entirely holds me in thrall. That you have a life that I wonder about more than I wonder about my own. That you have a life, courteous, intelligent, that I wonder about more than I wonder about my own that you have a soul, your own, no one else's, that I wonder about more than I wonder about my own, so that I find my soul clapping its hands for yours more than my own. Congratulations. Karen and Tom, since it is your intention to enter into marriage, please join hands. Declare your consent before family, friends, and God. Do you, Thomas, take Karen to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish as long as you both shall live? Do you, Karen, take Tom to be your lawfully wedded husband? to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for Richard or Richard, for Richard or Richard. <laughs> <Richer. laughs> <laughs> sickness and in health, <coughs> to love and to cherish, as long as you both shall live. Karen and Tom, you are giving yourselves to each other in love and committing yourselves to each other in marriage. As you do this, you are creating a new family. Let us all hope and pray that Tom and Karen's family is one of love and harmony. Tom, please repeat these words declaring your consent before God. I, Tom, take you, Karen. I, Tom, take you, Karen. To be my wife. My wife. As we face the future together, as you face the future together, I promise to stand by your side. I promise to stand by your side. I promise to love and support you. I promise to love and support you. Through whatever the future holds. Through whatever the future holds. I promise to grow old by your side. I promise to grow old by your side. As your partner. As your partner. Your love. Your love. And your best friend. Karen, please repeat these words, declaring your cons consent before God. I, Karen, <coughs> take you, Tom, to be my husband. I, Karen, take you, Tom, to be my husband. As we face the future together, I promise to stand by your side. As we face the future together, I promise to stand by your side. I promise to love and support you through whatever the future holds. I promise to love and support you through whatever the future holds. I promise to grow old by your side as your partner, your love, and your best friend. I promise to grow old by your side as your partner, your love, and your best friend. The wedding ring is the outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying to all the uniting of Karen and Tom in marriage. 
These rings will forever show the world that you are encircled by love and the blessings of family and friends. The two of you are now of one heart. May these rings always be a symbol of your unbroken circle of love. And now, as a token of their love and their deep desire to be forever united in heart and soul, Tom and Karen will exchange rings. Karen, please take this ring. Karen, please take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As we face the future together. As we face the future together. Tom, please take this ring. Tom, please take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As we face the future together. <laughs> Despite the size, may these rings remind you always <laughs> of the vows you've taken here today. We rejoice this day in the marriage of Karen and Tom who celebrate their love and Match.com <laughs> that brought them to this day and their commitment forever. And now, by, by the power vested in us, and the state of Minnesota, Minnesota. <laughs> we pronounce you husband, husband and wife.